What's going on you guys it's your man james aka jp back again with another restoration video so as you can see we are outdoors which means we are doing a project today i got this big box of stuff from the thrift store the other day i got some vhs's some games whatever but i got this nes with games and controllers and all the cables for only five bucks uh, as you can see, the NES does have some yellowing on it, which is not a problem. We are going to be taking care of that. Uh, it does have a few scuff marks, and the actual cartridges do have some yellowing on it as well. As you can see there, and especially on this one, you can really see it. So we are going to take that yellowing out. We're going to take this permanent marker name on the back. Thank you, Alex, for your little NES collection. I appreciate you. Uh, we are going to also be taking the yellowing out of these controllers as well, and uh, just kind of cleaning everything up. Now, just to go over everything, Thing that I am using in this restoration so I will be using a permanent marker if the camera is going to focus which I don't think it is but I just have a regular permanent marker I couldn't find my regular size one so this is actually a fine point one but just a regular black sharpie uh, we are going to be using some old toothbrushes right here uh, you could actually use paint brushes that would work a lot better but I can't find my paint brushes so dirty toothbrushes or old toothbrushes it is uh, we are going to be using Salon Care 40 and this I need the camera to focus on. There we go. This is what's going to take the yellowing out of everything. I've done a full tutorial a few times on this. I'll have that linked at, in the description as well as the end of the video if you guys want a more in-depth on what this is and a tutorial on this. But that's what we're going to be using today. And to pair along with the Salon Care 40, we're just going to be using some standard saran wrap. Doesn't matter the brand or anything like that. I also have some alcohol here, some rubbing alcohol. Come on, camera. There we go. So we just got some regular rubbing alcohol and then I have a wet or damp paper towel, I should say, and then a dry paper towel. And that is basically everything we are going to be needing to do. So let me go ahead and put you guys on the tripod. I will most likely do a voiceover because I'm sure out here doesn't sound that great. And uh, let's get started with this tutorial on the restoration of the NES, the controllers, the uh, games, and everything else that comes with it. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, you guys, so we're just doing the prep work, which I'm just taking a wet or a damp paper towel and wiping everything down. You just want to get all the dirt and dust that might be on it. Uh, again, I got these at the thrift store, so they were dirty. Uh, and one part that I do want to mention that I feel like a lot of people don't do is the controllers, but more specifically, the actual wire on the controllers. You'll just see how much dirt I take off of these wires. Those are always some of the most dirty parts of anything that you find in the thrift store is controllers for any console, or even if it's not from the thrift store, if it's previously owned, always wipe down uh, the wires on any uh, controllers. And also I had this, um, I had this, what I thought was a scuff on the black part right there. So I started to fill it in with marker, but then I realized it wasn't a scuff. It was actually some sort of like, just white residue I don't know what it was but I just took some rubbing alcohol and that wiped right off so that was good as new uh, so I actually ended up not needing the permanent marker but uh, there is the NES so it is ready to go so all we're gonna do now is take the salon care 40 pour it into the cap take the toothbrush and then start applying it there's no right or wrong way to apply it you just apply it over the sections that need it and you're good to go and obviously if a section is really really yellow compared to other sections you may want to put just a little bit more extra on those extra yellow sections uh, just because they will require just a little bit more in order to get that yellowing out I mean it's pretty self-explanatory so once we go ahead and do the NES I decided to do the entire NES just because it had a little yellowing here and there so I figured I'm, I'm here I'm, I'm doing it uh, it's not gonna do any harm if I just do the entire section so I did that entire upper portion of the NES I had like I said it had slight yellowing throughout so I just went ahead applied the salon care 40 all throughout there and then I just took the saran wrap out I got a size that I felt was right and then I just went ahead and put the saran wrap on top of the NES now I did have to use a second sheet because it didn't really cover fully cover the fronts and the back so I just took another small uh, sheet of saran wrap and covered up the front and back portions and that was it so now I just went ahead and put it outside and I got started on the cartridges Now with the cartridges, it's the same exact process, but you do want to be careful around those labels because if you do get any of that Salon Care 40 on the labels, uh, it, essentially it's liquid and the labels are like paper, so it's going to absorb that liquid 
and it could damage your labels as you will see later I did slightly damage it but I already have all this stuff in my collection so this is all extra for me so I didn't really care but if this is something you don't want to mess up just be careful around those labels you could try taping off uh, around the edges if you wanted to be extra careful uh, you could do that but there you go so you just do the same process put the salon care 40 on wrap it up in saran wrap and then you go ahead and put it outside in the sunlight moving on to the controllers uh, I was trying to figure out if I needed to be careful around those black sections of the controllers uh, I went ahead and put the salon care 40 over it because it's not really like a sticker or like a paper material so I didn't feel like it, it was gonna get messed up in any way and as you'll see at the end it really didn't get messed up at all you can't see any different so I just uh, went ahead I put the salon care 40 on same as all the others and saran wrap and then it, pretty much from this point it's just rinse and repeat Alright, so now that we're getting the last little bit of saran wrap on the second controller, uh, we're just going to go ahead, like with all the other stuff, wrap it up and then put it out in the sun. Alright you guys, so we're out here. Um, the sun was out, but unfortunately it looks like it might rain. I don't know, it's South Florida, give or take. But all you have to do, put everything out here in the sun, let the sun do its work. If you have some kind of like black light, or like, or not black light, but like an ultraviolet light, you can do like an indoor setup type of thing. But uh, we're just gonna let the sun do its thing. I'm not too worried about this because I already have an NES and I have multiple controllers and you know, I already have all of these stuff in my collection. So I'm not too worried if it starts raining or anything. Uh, but if that is something that you are worried about, obviously you're just gonna have to be cautious of the weather where you live. But I think it should be fine. The sun is starting to poke out from that cloud there. So once the sun finally comes out, and shines down on this. It's gonna do its thing. It should lift all the yellowness off of all these products. So I'm gonna leave it out here for about 30 minutes or so. Uh, come back, see how it looks. If it needs more time, we'll give it more time. But as you can see, everything is just out here and now we just gotta let the sun work its magic. So we'll check back in about 30 minutes. All right, you guys, so we are back. This is roughly about 30 minutes later. I did rotate the NES after about 20 minutes because the front end did uh, pretty much brighten up but this little corner here that had this dark yellow line needed uh, to get direct sunlight. This isn't gonna work if the sun isn't hitting it directly. So while I had it like this, the sun is coming right here in this direction. So it's not really hitting it on this side. So you are going to have to try and you know rotate stuff if need be. Uh, the cartridges were fine on the back ends of the cartridges, so I didn't do the back ends. But if your back end of the cartridge, this is hot, uh, was yellow, then after you know you do the front you're gonna have to obviously rotate it to the back uh, which I did with the controllers here uh, so we'll go ahead I'm gonna go ahead and take everything back to the setup at the outdoor uh, station and then we're gonna go ahead and unwrap everything uh, clean everything because obviously you're still gonna have the salon care 40 residue on there and then I'll show you guys the finished product all right so we are back now and we're just gonna unwrap everything and wipe everything off I'm just using another uh, wet or damp paper towel and again, while wiping it off, you are going to want to be careful around that label since you are using a wet paper towel. Now th now that we're here with this cartridge, we are going to go ahead and tackle that Alex. And all I'm going to do is take some rubbing alcohol, take a toothbrush, and also a paper towel, and just start scrubbing that area. And it's going to take a little bit depending on how long it's been there or whatever and how into the plastic the permanent marker is. But with, with some scrubbing and continuous scrubbing of that area, and you're going to want to like dry off because it, it kind of leaves like a puddle of alcohol once you start rubbing. So you're just going to want to dry off that that puddle and start scrubbing again and the more you keep scrubbing the more you go at it the more it's going to come off now i was short on time so i did have to cut it short there but as you can see it's most it's for the most part it's off and as you can see there i did um, mess up the label a little bit the salon care 40 did kind of leak onto the label right there which around the borders of the label started kind of bubbling up and peeling the label off but nothing too bad 
Uh, like I said, I already have these in my collection, so it wasn't that big of a deal. Same with the Mario Brothers. Uh, I didn't start peeling off, but you could see a little discoloration around the ends of the label right there. But here are the controllers, and the controllers actually came out really good. And as you'll see, uh, the, the black part, the black section right there on the face of the controller did not get messed up by applying the Salon Care 40 onto it. So that is safe to do because it is a different material from the labels on the actual cartridges. And then with the NES, for the most part, all the yellowing came out. Now, I definitely could get all the yellowing out if I gave it some more sessions and gave it some more time. But I actually had to get ready to go to work, so I was short on time. So pretty much all the yellowing came out except for the side piece, which you'll see in a second. That one little side piece that I mentioned before uh, that had that one dark yellow stripe on, on the side or whatever. It did lighten up a bit, but it wasn't completely out. Like I said, if I leave this in the sun longer, it definitely would come out. But again, I, I had to get ready for work. So I couldn't but there it is so everything came out looking really really good and that's pretty much it if you guys want to see a more in-depth uh, review or tutorial I did a Super Nintendo I did a Sega Dreamcast and I even did some sneakers and those should be popping up on the screen for you to click on any second so I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure you like comment and subscribe share this video with your friends stay tuned for more and as always I'll see you guys next time